Join us for a roller coaster ride of low expectations and surprising disappointments featuring NVIDIA GeForce 6200 and 7100 GS. Both cards have pretty similar specs built on the 110 nanometers process, armed with 128 megabytes of memory and 64 bit bus bandwidth. 6200 is using an AGP8X interface, and her cousin 7100GS is using PCI Express. This is not a problem because it is tested on board that supports both. To avoid any bottleneck, we are using Pentium E5700 clocked at 3 GHz and 4 GB of RAM. In terms of overclock, the 6200's core leaped from 350 to 391 MHz and memory from 500 to 566 MHz. That's about 12% boost. The 7100 isn't playing around. Core clock from 350 to a whopping 433 MHz and memory from 700 to 833 MHz. That's a solid 20% jump. First up, Half-Life 2 on low settings at 1024 by 768 classic gaming at classic resolutions. The 7100 edges out with about 10% better performance. In the race through City 17, the 7100 takes the lead. Gordon Freeman would be proud. Exploring the shores of Vardenfell, our 7100 GS again leads the way. At 1024 by 768 maximum view distance, we can see similar difference in performance as in Half-Life 2, about 10%. Time to kick up some dust in Colin McRae Rally 2005. Medium settings at 1024 by 768 resolution. Racing through the stages, the 7100 GS clocks in at an average 32 FPS, while the 6200 trails with 29 FPS. Dialing back the clock with Sirius Sam, the first encounter at 1024 by 768 resolution and high settings. After pushing the limits with overclocking, it's a photo finish. The performance gap are practically non-existent. Next stop, GTA San Andreas at 1024 by 768, cruising on medium settings. Both cards hit a bit of a rough patch with the 1% lows. I recommend to dial those settings down for a smoother ride in San Andreas. Final Adventure, Tomb Raider Legend from 2006, showcased at 1024 by 768 resolution on low settings. The 7100 GS leads by about 10%, yet both cards deliver a smooth plus 60 FPS. This wrap-up emphasizes the consistent performance improvement of the 7100 GS over the 6200. Switching gears to synthetic in 3D Mark 2001, a true test of time and technology. Performance hovers around the GeForce MX 440 level. Yep, that's the throwback league. For the 3D Mark 2003 test results, respectable performance across the board. Our two contenders are neck and neck. And that's a wrap on our blast from the past with the GeForce 6200 and 7100GS. Hit like, smash subscribe, and ring that bell for more Tech Time Travels.